Hello everyone, my name is Binks and welcome back to Let's Play The Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, where we will be continuing in the second case of the game, The Memoirs of the Clouded Kokoro. <laughs> what a scene to, uh, open to. <laughs> Sherlock so zoomed in. Dang, Sherlock, why? You know, interesting how you appeared here when you kind of made it seem like you didn't want to uh, investigate things. Hmm, a little shady, Sherlock. Just, 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 just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I know. Wait. This is the flashback, right? We're reading the case files? Oh yeah, we're reading the case files, sorry. So we're reading the case files, so this is the flashback part. Okay, never mind. I'm like trying to remember. Uh, wait, yeah. So February 21st, so this was several months ago, I guess. This was, yeah. That we've we received a telegram from Mr. Holmes to the following morning. Um, this was after the case uh, where we were defending um, what's his name, Saseki, and uh, after Olive Green, I think is her name, uh, where she was stabbed. So we're going to visit her in the hospital. Yeah, five thirty a.m. That's really early. St. Bartholomew's Hospital Recovery Ward. So it's cool that we get to actually meet her now. There you are at last. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. I think not. Oh. You're late. What on earth took you so long? Your telegram only arrived at five o'clock, Mr. Holmes. And it's a 20 minute ride to the hospital. That's right, and it's half past five now. I think we made very good time considering how freaking early it is, you jerk. <laughs> right? Is it a. Whatever. That, that big old rat is really distracting me. The time is utterly irrelevant. The fact is, I have been waiting for what has felt like an eternity. Ah, this man. In point of fact, I myself was awoken at four this morning by a telegram boy, and feeling it was somewhat unjust that I alone had been roused at such an hour, I sent one to you. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> petty. <laughs> He's so petty. Anyway, you're here now, so... The victim is over there. She's only just regained consciousness. Oh, poor thing. She's so cute. You should introduce yourselves, and I shall observe from here. I have to say... It's a little disconcerting, the fact that they have a little mannequin-like figure there that has a certain body shape that matches her. And I'm like, why does it have to be there? I mean, it's cute. It's adorable. But why does it have to be there? Why does it exist? Why does it look so similar to her shape? Like, I kind of don't like that. Like, I don't know. Is it kind of... It feels a little in poor taste, I have to say. I don't know. I'm a little sensitive because I'm a little plump and chunky. <laughs> so I don't know. I I, I have to kind of call out Capcom there that I, I don't think it's, it's appropriate. Uh, I don't think it was very nice of them to have that there. Even if they didn't mean it in a bad way, it's still like, was it really necessary? I don't think so. Whatever. So that's the lady who was found in the snow-covered pavement with the knife in her back. 
And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you're oversensitive, you're being touchy-feely. But the fact of the matter is, hey, it's there. It's a little offensive. A lot of people my size are going to feel that way. Deal with it. You know, that's just how it is. A lot of people get um, sensitive over certain things, right? And that's just one of them. So yeah, we finally get to talk to her. She is really cute, though. Her name is... Ah, yes, here we are. Miss Green. All in green. I'm glad she's okay. Woo! Excuse me. Oh, boy. Recording late at night. Never a good idea. <laughs> but you gotta do what you gotta do. Nothing particular note. What's with this? Look, there's a photograph in this frame here. Who is this? Kind of weird to have a hotel, uh, not hotel, a, a hospital room so personalized, you know? Like, this is somewhere that you're only supposed to be there a few days, right? At most. Usually you don't see so many personal effects there like that, but I don't know. Maybe back then people stayed longer term compared to nowadays where they're like, uh, you can't afford it, your insurance, whatever. We're kicking you out after a day or two. <laughs> oh yes, it's a picture of a young gentleman. I'm sure this will be important, because I'm like, hmm. He looks to be about the same age as Miss Green, I would say. Perhaps the young woman's special someone, do you think? My, my, Mr. Narihodo. I didn't know you had a sense for matters of the heart. Not in the least. I sincerely said the first thing I thought of. Hmm. It's possible. Could also be her brother. There are lots of bottles in that cabinet, aren't there? Do you think it's safe to keep them like that? Yeah, it's a little weird to have them there. <laughs> If you were a patient here, I feel sure you'd take some medicine by mistake when you're half asleep. That is a worry, but at least the cabinet has a lock, even if it's only a flimsy-looking one. Oh, I've no doubt you'd manage to unlock that somehow while you were half asleep as well. There are limits even to what I can do when I'm half asleep, you know, Mr. Sato. It's cute to see them interacting, because, you know, we didn't get to see that much in the first case, because we were separated. What is this doing here? Ah, a mouse, Mr. Narihodo, a an enormous mouse! Ah, uh, vermin in a hospital? That doesn't seem the best. No. But it looks like a very healthy specimen, doesn't it? It's very plump. I'm not sure we can say that's down to the excellence of this facility, if that's what you're thinking. <laughs> I'd say it's living well. <laughs> uh, no. Don't look at her medical records, that's not really ap appropriate. <laughs> HIPAA violation, HIPAA violation! <laughs> Looks like the patient's treatment notes. Let's see. What? Do not feed. Oh, come on. Really, game? Not appropriate. What is this place? A zoo? Do you know, I seem to remember seeing an almost identical sign in our local park. For the pigeons, yes. This is a person. Thank you. Poor woman. I hope she hasn't read this. Thank you! That's horrible! What the frick? Do not feed. I don't like this at all. I didn't want to click on it, but... Sign. <laughs> sign. <laughs> sign, it's you! A sign! <laughs> I'm sure I've made that joke before. Uh, alright. This rounded wooden figure isn't the most charming, is it? Thank you! I'm glad Ryunosuke at least uh, has some decency to him on what he's saying. Ah, uh, I 
don't think that's a decoration, Mr. Naruhodo. It's an artist's mannequin, I believe. Used when practicing sketching the human form in different poses. And there is um an easel there, right? And like a canvas on the floor. And then in the picture of the man, he did have like a artist's paintbrush in his hand. So I guess that's why that's there. So he made that. So I guess that's why that's there. But even so, that's actually really bad. <sighs> I guess I see why Capcom might have included that. If that's part of the storyline. That she has someone in her life who would depict her in that way. That still makes me very uncomfortable. Like... You're gonna show, like, a kind of uncomfy relationship here, if that's her significant other. Like, mm, don't like it. <laughs> really? It's not exactly what you'd call a typical figure for that po purpose, though, is it? No, I suppose not. I confess I've never seen one quite so full-figured before. Uh... If you want to draw a full-figured person, it's the right tool for the job. It's not... Still, I don't like it. Don't like this. Don't like this storyline, I should say. If they were going to include a full-figured person... Like, okay. The last game I played in the series was Investigations 2. There was a character in there, Delicia... Who, I mean, I will say I didn't like that they had her keep, like, stuffing her face with, like, frosting and stuff. I was, like, kind of annoying. But at the same time, they didn't make a big deal out of it. She was a pharmacist. Um, interesting character. She was cute, right? And, thankfully, they didn't make a big deal about her being overweight like they kind of did with, um... The other overweight character who comes to mind in the series is, like, Sister Bikini. But I feel like with characters like that, like, either they are made fun of in some way, or some kind of, like, character caricature. You know what I mean? Like, stereotypical. Like, uh, I want one who is, um, she just happens to be overweight. But she's good looking or you know what I mean like it's not a big deal right so I'm glad that at least the other ones I listed it wasn't as a big deal compared to this one right now that I feel like it's a little uncomfy so I'm hoping if they are gonna continue with this storyline I hope that they handle it in a mature enough way that I don't get too mad at it anymore because right now I'm already feeling a little annoyed but I'm like okay at least Rinosuke and Susato are not the issue here it looks like her potential partner her romantic interest or whatever is might be the issue please <laughs> Like, it, it personally bothers me. So that's why I'm, I, I keep harping on about it. Because when it personally bothers me, that's why I'm like... Ugh. I just want to be able to enjoy the storyline and, you know, get into it. But I guess now that I'm older, I guess that's why... I, it, it's hard for me to play video games now without super analyzing it. That's why I'm like, you know, as I get older, maybe... Little by little, I'm like, ugh. It's harder to just play games and not overthink them, right? <laughs> it's hard. Just shut up and play the game, Binks. I know, I'm sorry. When you get older, you just overthink things too much, I guess. Yeah. That's what happens when you grow up too much, you guys. That must be a bag of Miss Green's personal belongings. She would have been brought directly here after she was found stabbed on the pavement, though. I expect a friend or family member probably brought some things for her. Alright then, let's see what's inside. Change of clothes, no doubt, and... No, Mr. Narahodo. We must never scrutinize a young maiden's personal belongings. Tell him! 
You tell him, girl. Although I do have some good news. I've lost some weight recently. <laughs> I don't I'm random. I, I know I've been bursting into random tangents a lot in this LP. But since I've been talking about my weight and stuff, I am really happy. Um, my doctor, at the beginning of the year, um, I had asked him to put, because it's in the news recently. I don't, many of you probably don't pay attention to the news, but a lot of people have been on those weight loss drugs and stuff. So I was like, hey, I want to go on those. I never even got the chance to get on them because they were like so in high demand. Um, that the pharmacy just never can have them in stock or whatever. Turns out, I so far, I haven't even needed them because uh, my appetite hasn't really been there. I've been kind of sickly on and off lately or whatever. Um, but I've actually been losing weight on my own for some reason. Um, just not having much of an appetite, just haven't been able to really eat or keep things down much lately so I mean it's not the best way to lose weight I haven't been like exercising or anything unfortunately but uh yay <laughs> I'm losing weight it's not the best way to go about it but they did kind of say sometimes when people get a little sick that they they lose weight that way so um yay losing weight boo being a little sick but um yay <laughs> so I've lost like I don't know maybe almost like 20 pounds in the past couple two or three months or so so I'm really happy about that I want to keep it up and because uh, my, my girlfriend Coco is gonna be visiting me in June so I'm hoping by the time I see her they will be like in two months or so I'm hoping to lose another like 10 10 to 15 I'll be in good shape I'll be like yeah I'm looking good <laughs> I'll be looking real good much better much, much happier Hopefully by then, hopefully we have a new job by then, that's what I'm praying. Um, that way I'll be mentally healthier and physically healthier. That's that's my goal, that's my dream. So, that's what I'm working on. Just wanted to have a little happy tang tangent right there after all the negative stuff I was just grumbling about with the whole weight thing. But the young maiden might have chocolates, or biscuits, or caramel. Also, yeah, part of losing weight, I will say I'm losing my interest in, like, sweet stuff recently. So I think that's also helped me a lot. Like, I find myself eating less and then also not liking as much sweet food as I used to. So that's helped a lot. Like, uh, for, like... My birthday was in February, so we had bought some like little cakes, not big cake, but like little cakes and, and we were trying different types and I literally couldn't even finish them. I found myself, my mom was like really enjoying like this uh, from Portillo's, they had like three different type of cakes. One was like a chocolate one, which is what they're well known for. And the chocolate one was pretty good. I didn't like the frosting. I actually don't like frosting. Now I'm noticing because it's too sweet. So like I'll eat the, like the actual cake. I like the, the cake itself. But any like frosting, filling, anything else, I'm like, eh. Like just the, give me like a sponge cake. Just the cake itself and I'll eat that small little portion. Um, just the vanilla cake even just chocolate cake or a vanilla cake just the sponge cake part itself like if I could just bake the cake a little helping that's what I would do you know nothing fancy <laughs> that's what I would do if I knew how to bake and stuff um, and then we got like I forgot what the other thing was it was like some kind of layered thing it was supposed to be uh, I wish I could remember it was something supposedly fancy. Was it something coffee flavor? I don't know. I didn't like it at all. I had like half of it and I was like, no. No thank you. It had so, so many layers. It was something I've heard the name of many times in baking shows that I've seen over the years. Tried it. Didn't care for it. Then there was this other thing what I thought what I was going to like because I had like strawberry and like whipped cream and stuff and I was like, oh, I love strawberry stuff and whipped cream, yeah. Mom loved it. She actually ended up finishing mine. I could barely get like, it was all like cream and fluff and I was just like, oh, no. Not my thing. 
I was just like, first of all, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is risky anyway. I think I had maybe three or three bites, and I was just like, no, that's it for me. I think now I'm preferring savory food. Um, like, I find myself preferring meat. <laughs> I like meat, but not too much. And I'm, I'm preferring, like, sour, like, something more refreshing, sour. Like, sometimes I'm wanting, like, a little, like, uh... Something, maybe not like like some cooked vegetables or something I'm like yeah talk about food I shouldn't even be talking about food I'm so sorry Olive I should be talking to you instead of talking about food I've been watching a lot of cooking shows lately also I really want to work on learning how to cook <laughs> oh making me talk about food I am I'm horrible I'm gonna make all my viewers so hungry Anyway, um, good morning. Don't know why Binks is rambling about food. Guess she's hungry. I don't know. It's it's like 8.40 at night. Binks just happened to watch a cooking anime with her girlfriend, so maybe that's why. <laughs> oh, I still don't know what voice I'm going to give you either. You're super cute. Look at those dainty little feet. Is she gonna walk over here after being in- Oh, she actually has little, uh, paintbrushes. So is that like a painter's smock on you? Um, are you okay? Are you still injured? What's she holding in her hand? It looks like a key? Are you okay? Oh, She looks upset. She's still in pain. Hello, um, I'm, um, Yunosuke Naruhodo. From the Empire of Japan? <clears throat> You're super cute. <clears throat> I... What voice do I give you? You're super, super cute. Uh... Oh no. Was it your knife that... Are you the man who... No, no, no. I'm a lawyer. Be scared of me, cutie. And I'm Susato Mikotoba. Pleased to meet you. Oh no! Was it your knife then? Are you the one? No, no, no. I assure you. I'm Mr. Norihodo's judicial assistant. We heard that you'd regained consciousness and wanted to come to give you our best wishes. Wishes? For me? Um, thank you. I'm Olive. Olive Green. I'm an artist. Well, no, that's not right, is it? What I mean is, I'm trying to be an artist. Well, what I really mean is, um, desperately want to be an artist. But the truth is, I don't have any talent. Oh, no, I don't. I'm kind of giving her a British accent. <laughs> kind of. But also really high-pitched. Oh, she's super cute. It's no wonder I was stabbed in the back. I don't think that's related, actually. Unless you made the figure yourself? Which is sad if you did. Gosh, this young woman seems to bend over backwards to put herself down. Maybe she did. Maybe she did make that own figure of herself. Which I'm like, relieved if nobody else did that to insult her. But also, that's really sad. And I kind of wish Capcom hadn't done that. But also, that's really, really sad. Seeing as we're here, we should ask her about what happened from her perspective, I suppose. Hey, Olive. How, how are you doing, honey? To suddenly be struck in the back by a blade as you were walking along the pavement. It's with the key, ma'am. What a terrible experience you had, Miss Green. It was so cold that day. And the fog was so thick, I couldn't say a thing. 
was four days ago now, I think. Is that right? Actually, no. She's too similar to, um... Iris. I have to change it. I have to change it. Uh, because it sounds too similar to Iris in my head. I liked it because it was high-pitched. Mm, I'm not happy with the voice, you guys. It was cute, but it's... <sighs> yeah, it's too similar to Iris. Because what happens if she talks to Iris? And I'm like, oh no, they sound the same. Hmm. That's tough, that's tough. Because there's all these British people and... She's kind of... Okay, okay, I think I have an idea. Yes, that's right. I'm afraid you've been comatose all that time. Okay, but she's like shy and like scared, so I guess I could give her kind of like a softer voice, like um, like a uh, Mikan from Danganronpa 2. Oh, but I've never done that with a, a British accent. But the case has been solved, hasn't it? Well, I've been here in hospital, I mean. Kind of like that? I could do that, right? Uh, yeah, I'll go with that. That's all I can think of. That's the only way I can differentiate, because I don't think I've ever done anybody else in this series with that. Oof. Oh, child. I'm trying to remember voices. Indeed it has, my dear madam. Spectacularly, by none other than I, Holoch... Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes, as you all know, it was Mr. Notohodo's hard work in court that solved the case. Are you yet to hear what happened, Miss Green? Yes, I'm afraid so. A gentleman from the police force is supposed to come... Supposed to be coming to fill me in shortly. Yeah, that's better. I think it, it feels, uh easier and that way iris has the high pitched high pitched young girl voice yeah that's fine oh i see me coming round seems to have made everyone frantically busy i'm so sorry i should never have regained consciousness he was selfish of me. Oh, this is better. Yes, this suits you. You're so sad. No. Oh, yes. That's you. Oh. Oh, no. We're all so relieved that you're on the men, Miss Green. Really, we are. With that kind of attitude, maybe her surname should be Blue, not Green. <laughs> you're so funny. No. Okay. So, you're an artist, are you, Miss Green? Oh, no. No, I, I couldn't possibly claim that. I'm a fledgling artist at best. I mean, I'm a student of art, really. At the Thorndike Academy of Fine Arts. Oh, my. An Academy of Fine Arts. Great Britain is such a wonderful country. Tell me, Miss Green, do you live hereabouts? Oh no, actually. I don't deserve it, but I have a little flat on Brixton Road. I see. How very interesting. Oh? Oh no, is it? Brixton is some ten stops away in the underground from here. And Thorndike Academy is a mere three minute walk from Brixton Town Centre. Yeah, so then why was she all the way over here? That's what you're saying? Does that matter, Mr. Holmes? Perhaps not, but Briar Road is a far less salubrious part of town by comparison, dwelt in by those of inferior means. Including the Maleficent, Mr. Mustache. <laughs> Inferior means. I suppose Soseki-san does fit the bill. 
It shocked me as somewhat out of the ordinary for a young fine arts student to be walking in such a district. That's all. Mm-hmm. What's this? She suddenly clammed up. Mr. Holmes, you should be ashamed of yourself, prying into a young maiden's private affairs. <laughs> oh, dear me. Do you forgive me? Hmm. Um, if you don't mind. I'm being discharged shortly, so I need to pack up my things. Oh, yes, of course. We won't keep you. Thank you so much, Miss Green. Interesting. Narrow fodder? Narrow fodder? <laughs> Is there a Mr. Narrow fodder here? Mr. Narrow fodder? You mean narrow hodo? Narrow hodo. <laughs> narrow fodder now? Well, um, if you're looking for Naru Hodo, the lawyer, that's me, but... Oh, Mr. Naru Hodo, good. This is for you. <laughs> it's a message from a Mr. Saucy Nutsmeg. <laughs> Saucy Nutsmeg? Really? And Naru Fodder? Wow. Mr. Natsume sent me a, sent a message to me? But why would a policeman be delivering a message from Mr. Natsume? Exactly. What's going on? What's a Scotland Yard constable doing playing delivery boy at this time in the morning? Ugh, what are you waiting for? Let me see that. Oh, that's- wait, that's for me. What the? Well, this is most unexpected. Is something wrong, Mr. Holmes? Other than you stealing my mail? <laughs> Is something wrong, Mr. Holmes, he says. Have you not seen this note? No, how could I have? You stole it from me, you jerk. It would seem that London's criminals have no intention of letting the great detective rest. A new case calls. A case of murder, no less. We must depart at once. Murder? Yeah, because what else will we do? I mean, the fact that Olive is alive is a miracle. Call a cab. Time is of the essence. But the trouble is, we've yet to read Mr. Natsume's note. I was thinking we ought to pay a visit in his lodgings once we did. That will be entirely convenient. Convenient? What do you mean? It's all here in the note, my dear fellows. The murder we must investigate took place at Mr. Mustache's lodgings. Wait, what? Again? <laughs> I'll help. Oh. Fiacre? <laughs> that looks like something else. Okay. Uh... What is that? I guess taxi? Or... Um... What is that? Fiacre. Fiacre. Okay, I want to know how it's pronounced. How? Fiacra. Fiacra. Small four-wheeled carriage for public use. Sure. Okay. I'll hail a Fiacra at once. Sure. It was only yesterday that Soseki-san was in court and we were dispelling doubts about his innocence. And now, the very next day, there's a murder at the man's own address? He may very well be the unluckiest man alive. Or so it seemed to us at the time. But we were soon to discover it was worse than we thought. Okay. 
You know, normally I would keep going and have a full hour episode, but it's late and I'm tired and I did ramble too much and all that. I know we didn't get much accomplished, but I'm going to have a short episode today, so let's just leave it here. I think that's fine. I am tired, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Sorry for all the rambling, but you got some juicy little lore about me and all that. Anyway, until next time, have a nice day. Bye!